guys and welcome to another miniature adventures review so today we're going to um, review games workshops warhammer underworld shade spire now some people get a little confused and call the whole game shade spire the actual game is called warhammer underworld shade spire is the first set and then they brought out another one um called night vault which is kind of like chapter two in the story um, and we will be reviewing that on the channel so what is shade spire so, Shades by is a board game slash skirmish game um, based in the, uh, the mythology of um, Age of Sigma. It's based in the realm of Sheesh, and uh, basically what it is, is um, in, an, in a nutshell, is Shades by was a city in Shaish, the realm of death, and um, they basically learn how to use shade glass. Now, what this is, is is a glass that can trap souls in, within it. Um, or, trapped is probably the wrong word. Allowed souls to reside within it and communicate with the other world. And so, basically, guards and uh, just people, and when you died, you would get placed into a shade glass. And it meant that you could have an almost in eternal life. And they would use this for teachers, for scholars... Uh, for loved ones, even guards. So the guards on Shade Spire, on its walls, battlements, were made up of soldiers who died in battle. Generals for its defences were generals of, you know, that had passed away. So they never lost that military might. Um, and then what happened was Nagash, who is the necromancer turned uh, god king of the underworld, he, he um, was a bit mad about this. He was like, well, hey, these are all my souls. You don't get to keep them. When you die, you die. You give me your souls. And on one hand was he basically um, sent a force and destroyed Shade Spire, um, sent it to ruin. Um, the people fled. And, you know, this is hundreds of years later. What's happened is war bands are now going in to try and... Uh, Nagash has been quiet for so long. The war bands are now going in to try and find trinkets and treasures. Um, and like the orcs and that, they, they basically just want a good scrap, uh, to be perfectly honest. So, that's the basic fluff of Shades by Other Way. So, let's take a look at the game. So, firstly, you know me on this channel, I'm a sucker for their artwork, for Games Workshop's artwork. And this is beautiful artwork. Um, I was a little bit miffed that um, maybe I read the fluff wrong, but the, um, the Stormcast, I felt, was supposed to be ghostly underneath their armor. Um, they've kind of made them a bit look a bit more mortal than they were. And maybe that's just me reading the fluff. Um, I have painted the models from this. Um, I opened the box because I basically wanted to play in a tournament. I lost, but <laughs> that's, that's half the fun. Um, and so I wanted to paint it as soon as I got it. I bought it and then literally played the tournament that day. So... I have painted up or started to paint up some of the stuff and some of the uh, components have been separated um, and punched out but we'll still give it a good review. So let's give it a quick overview. So here's the back of the box. As we can see board tiles, miniatures, you get uh, two wall bands in this. Uh, one wall band is made of five, the other one is made of three. They are evenly matched in their skills, their fight prowess and things like that so even though someone may have five i believe the um undead have like seven um but they're weak so they basically match it out you then get a whole deck of cards that you can customize yourself i mean you, across the decks there are unique card they're not unique there are cards specific for each faction but then there are hundreds of generic cards that you can just swap in and out the whole point is to get basically whoever gets the most glory points and you get glory points from either completing objectives or killing players uh, player models um, and we're going to get into how you do that um, in a second and that is that is pretty much it you get a, a whole bunch of customized dice encounters um, and all of these models can be used in the age of sigma battles so i have the garrick reavers which are basically corn and the Stormcast. I have a whole Stormcast army and I have a whole corn army. And so these basically um, buff up those army. So let's take a look and see what's inside the box. Okay, so rule book. Gotta have the rule book. Pretty slim rule book. 
really detailed. I mean, it's very simple to read rules. Um, it's not overly complicated. And you could probably literally crack this open. Um, all the models are push fit, so you don't even need glue to put it together. You just need a way to cut them off the sprues. Um, and basically, uh, just be pl up and playing within about an hour, hour if at most, once you've read the rules and, and everything else. So, board tiles. So these represent different parts of the Shades by City. Um, and they're beautiful. They really are beautiful. I mean, look at that. That is some beautiful artwork. So these tiles here, you can't um, move into. These tiles here are where you would start your um, your wall bands. And yeah, each tile is unique. So, you, you know, this beautiful. And then these boards can be used with the Night Vault bo a box set. I do believe they also brought out one um, box set that was just the cards um, and that uh, sorry not just the cards just one board tile and that basically uh, means you can have a total of five um, boards some people buy like you know split a box set with each other to get different bits you can then buy extra war bands as well to kind of buffer everything up so the game has such replayability I mean, let's just look at this armor so again you can't move in here um, look at that, that is fantastic. And then we come to the objectives, they all fit on there. So these are objectives, each has unique artwork on it. This is shaved glass, which basically uh, there's a card that you can place down and it creates an immovable place. Um, this um, is a Catafran, um artifact that basically. Um, you use in like three or four or five players upwards. So these are the decks of cards. So let's take a look. So I've customized these decks um, a little bit for my tournament, but when you open the box, you generally what you'll get is three decks. You'll get your corn deck, you'll get your stormcast deck, and then you'll get what's called the extra cards deck, which most of them are here. Um, and then basically that just allows you to add. Um, in here are actually some cards I won in the tournament. So let's say Games Workshop are releasing extra cards. Um, it's great, like you can just keep going. Um, so your character cards. So here's your character cards. So this here is how far away your weapon can affect someone. So this is one tile. You roll two dice, but you want hammers to hit and it will do two damage. This is how far away you move, what you need to dodge and attack, and then how many life points. And then he has a special ability, at least three fighters are out of action. He then becomes inspired, which means he becomes gold. He gets an extra move, and I believe, yes, and his attack does an extra uh, point of damage. And then he has uh, four other guys. I won't go through them all, but Four other guys that all have each individual abilities. I then won these at the tournament, and they're basically alternate artwork for the uh, uh, for those cards. So as I say, you can buy so much extra for it. It's great. Okay, so objective. So here's my objective card. So my opponent won't know my objective. Um, you have three objectives. So this one's objective four, and you can see here I get a glory point if I succeed. And on it, it says, um, um, score this in an end phase if you're holding objective four. So, let's take a look at some of the counters. And that's the same for both decks. The Stormcast are the same. Um, the uh, Any warband you buy. So, I'm just going to show you actually some of the models quick. So, here's the Stormcast chat. I mean, these are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. My painting isn't that good, I'm afraid, but still. And as I say, these can all complement. So I've painted these blue and gold to um, basically to go with my other Stormcast army um, to uh, in the same color scheme. So here's one from my other army uh, from the actual um, Stormcast army. You can see that they are to scale. So these 
are perfectly fine to be used in your Age of Sigmar battles. And in fact, Games Workshop give you the rules for free. So here's my corn army. So, dice. Let me just crack these open. So the dice you get are not like normal dice. Okay, so here we have a hammer. Uh, that's a support. So if you have uh, two or more fighters adjacent to your fighter, they get a support. That's another way to attack. And then a crit uh, means that they, it can't be blocked. And there's a support if you have one. And then the defense dice, that's pretty much the same, except this has shields and it has a dodge. So as you can see on the Blood Reavers card, he requires a dodge to survive. If he doesn't get that, he'll get a wound. And then you get the wound tokens. So these are wound tokens. You place these on your characters as and when you get wounds. Now, if one of your characters is killed, then the opponent gets one of these. The glory marker. You can spend these on equipment in your car, in your hand to basically you know fight out um, to, to, to basically buff up your characters so I'm just going to set up a quick board and we're going to see basically how the game progresses move that over there I'm just going to use a single tile because we don't really uh, need the full tile so let's just say Make it easy. One storm cast versus one, um, one corn. So they're attacking. So in each phase, you have um, four, four activations. Now, in that, you can use one fight, I believe, one move, one charge, and uh, and and then that's it. But you can only do like four things in a turn. Now. After both of you have done one activation each, it will then go to the, the, uh, the basically the middle phase. And what happens is each player gets to play a card. You then get to play a card, not your objectives. They come in later, but cards swear by. So here we go. I have Fueled by Rage. Okay, uh, sorry, Fueled by Slaughter. So this one, Reaction. Play this card after an attack action or ploy, and it gives me an extra... Um, uh, bonus for that. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Berserker Charge. Both single successes when this card makes an action. So, I can play this in that phase, and it means that both the swords and the hammers will um, basically count in that next phase. Um, and you get to play as many of those as you have in your, your hand. Um, you, get, you don't have to play them all. You don't have to play any at all. Once everybody has finished playing their cards, you then go on to the next um, activation. And you get to activate one model per activation. And again, they get to do one. Now, charge move means you get to charge and then attack. But they can't do anything else in that uh, phase. You, as I say, you can then move and uh, you can defend. And you get tokens. So here we have this means that I have charged, so I can't do anything. This means that I've moved, so I can't do anything. And then on guard, gives you a bonus when you're basically defending. Now, that I won't go into the whole detail, but there's, there are actions like cleave, whereby you need to score a crit to kind of survive. Um, and the, the whole point is to, you, you get three rounds so that's three lots of four activations. At the end of each phase, um, you count up how many objectives you've scored. Um, some objectives may be no man's land, which if you've got boards di dividing, it would be these squares here because they're no man's land between the two. One may say have all your fighters in your area or in your opponent's area, in which case you would score an objective. Um, some may be take out one fighter, two fighters, or three fighters. And that is pretty much it for that game. So my my thoughts of the game, are, it is great. It is absolutely fantastic. You get to have the mix of different um, warbands, different tiles, and it is a great 
tournament game. Um, the only downside to it is that they've only released one extra board for the you know on its own. Um, but the customizable uh, ability of the game is just absolutely fantastic. So what we're going to do is the next one will be Night Vault, which is the sequel to this. Um, I hope you all have had a great time. Um, anyone in Ohio, if you want to come play me, please come play me. And please, please pick up this game. It is a great intro into the Age of Sigma. Okay, everyone. Keep on gaming. Have fun, and we'll see you again soon here at Miniature Adventures. Goodbye.